reason you're really here is to talk to us today about the New York Empire yep. and World Team Tennis, yeah, I am. which is coming up in a few weeks uh, at the Billie Jean King National, National Tennis, Tennis Center. Center. <laughs> With the New York Empire, uh, we start July 16th at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we want it to be a family affair, so I'll come back from your vacate by 5 at the National Tennis Center. It's on ESPN. They're going to play the Freedoms, which has Donald uh, Young, Sloan Stevens. Look, you mentioned the Philadelphia Freedoms, and for those of you who don't know, this is the coolest story I've ever heard. She got Elton John to write a song. I didn't get him. He Freedom. offered it. Well, that's amazing. We're going to a concert. You were the you We're, were the impetus for would, him to well, write well, the song. Well, he was a good friend, and I was drafted in the league back in '74, the first year. So we're going to a concert one night, and he says, uh, "Oh, I want to. I'm going to write you a song, Billy." And I go. I didn't think I heard him right. Wow. I'm going like, I go, are you kidding? He says, no, what are we going to call it? I said, I don't know. And of course, we're right in the thick of the season. He goes, why don't we call it Philadelphia Freedom? First of all, he likes Philadelphia. It's iambic. It's five, mm -hmm. Philadelphia. That's why he says it works, um, which makes sense, actually, sure. when you think about it. The beat. And it became number one. And it crossed over to R&B, which was mm -hmm. really important to him. And it's really kind of the anthem for the people of Philadelphia forever. Yeah. I mean. Uh, so it's, it's pretty exciting and it's, more importantly he's a dear friend, you know, relationships are everything.